have the highest respect for the members of our military, especially because they have made a contract with all of us that they will willingly lay down their lives whenever it becomes necessary to do so in order to protect us. This covenant is instructive because Sudan did not sign up to stop us from expressing our grievance about things that we are displeased about. It is not disputable that the citizens who have gathered in several parts of Lagos, like in Falomo, Ikurudu, and Ojota, to mention a few, have largely conducted themselves peacefully, singing and dancing, while they express their displeasure at the way we have taken decisions that affect them. That, in my view, should not offend those of us in government. The majority of these people, who represent diverse interests, have not broken any law. If they have, it is my opinion that in a constitutional democracy, it is the police that has the responsibility for restoring law and order if civil protests threaten the breach of the peace. This is not justification for sending out soldiers to a gathering of unarmed citizens. Every one of us, or at least the majority of us, who hold public offices today, danced and sang before these people when we were seeking their votes. Why should we feel irritated when they sing and dance in protest against what we have done? For me, this is not a matter for the military. The sooner we rethink and rescind this decision, the better and stronger our democracy will be. If anything, this is a most welcome transformation of our democracy in the sense that it provokes a discussion of economic policies, and this inevitably may result in political debate. 